Welcome everyone to my channel, Stat Oasis Academy. In today's video, I'll be discussing AlgoWizard. It's a module inside Strategic Quantex. Uh, this will be a two-part series. Where in the first part, we'll be discussing how to build strategies using your own uh, logic. And the second part series, we'll be discussing how to save them as a template and use it in Builder to generate many more variations of it. So I'll see you inside. I am running the SQX version 128.182. Uh, obviously, by the time you see this video, most likely it's a different version. But in any case, uh, SQX team uh, always updating the software, uh, squashing bugs, and moving forward. That's why I like them. Um, I'm going to show you Algo Wizard. But be before that, let me show you why you need the Algo Wizard. You use Strategy Quantex to generate strategies. So, for example, if I want to use a mean reversion strategy, this is a template for mean reversion, okay? And, sorry, you pick the, uh, the uh, engine, the symbol, the time frame, and then you can go to full settings. Obviously, you can adjust everything. Let's leave everything on default for now. Uh, data, trading option. Let's remove exit on Friday. I'm mainly concerned with the building blocks. So now there are 48 blocks selected for signals. And you can view them. So the strategy will be generated randomly using Bears Power and Bollinger Bands, Bulls Power, Candle Patterns, and Highest Lowest, which is fine. Uh, and if, of course, if you uh, start building, then we will see. So this is the source code for the strategy. And I'm picking the pseudocode so it's easy to understand. And if you go and look at the signals, long entry signal, this one, for example, using Kelton channel. Next strategy is using Awesome Oscillator. Next strategy is using Momentum. This one, Keltner Channel. This one, Bollinger Bands. And the highest, lowest, Bollinger Bands. Bears power, you get the idea. So let's stop. Now, what if I, you know, read an article that says, look, I mean, a good mean reversion strategy is uh, when the close, uh, when the price closes above the upper band of Bollinger Band, uh, you can short because then most likely the price will mean revert to the uh, uh, to the middle of the band so you can still uh, let's clear all this and so in the, the predefined signals now I have only 38 picked so if I go to I can go to uh, reset okay pick all unpick them so now it's zero picked and then let me go to Bollinger Bands and pick all of them. So th those are 16 blocks. Okay. So now if I start building again. So this time signals should be only from Bollinger Bands. Close above. Some other condition using Bollinger Bands. Close above. Bollinger Bands, Lower and Filtering. So you get the idea. Now all these strategies are generated using Bollinger Bands. Okay? Still, there is no uh, control on this. What if I want to test a simple strategy that, you know, you came across an article 
or you just so thought of it and you want to construct that, which is basically what you do in other platforms like TradeStation, MultiCharts, NinjaTrader, which is to code your own strategy. So this is the perfect system that we want to capture. This is the S&P 500. This is the 200 day moving average and Bollinger Bands. And basically what we want to do is we want to go short here, go long here, go short here, go long here, go short here, go long here, go short here. Okay. Of course, this is the perfect scenario. Then we have uh, like sometimes when the Bollinger Band expands, of course, the system will not work. So in Algo Wizard, go to new, use full wizard, create basic strategy template. Go to settings, pick your engine, your symbol, the uh, uh, data, commission, slippage, trading option. I have only one trade per day and in money management, one contract per trade. Okay. Um, yeah. Now, these are the, uh, as we saw in the code in the builder, uh, if we pick one, there are mainly the, uh, the long entry signal, short entry signal, and long exit signal and short exit signal. So this is what you have. The long entry signal, short entry signal, long exit, short exit. And then you can define them more here. Of course, you can add as many rules as you like. But let's take to our strategy of building a mean reversion uh, strategy on the SMP using Bollinger Bands. So, long entry is, my long entry is I'm gonna go long when the price closes below the lower Bollinger Bands. So, I need a comparison. Oh, let me discuss this. So, these are all the blocks available to you. We need to compare the price, which is the close lower so this is lower and then with the comparison I'll have two. So on the left, I will have the close. So I'll pick the price. I'll go down to close. And on the right, I will pick Bollinger Bands and search for it. Then this Bollinger Band using the 20 SMA with two standard deviation. And then I want the lower band so if the close if the price closes below the uh, the Bollinger bands then that's my long entry signal my short entry signals the opposite so again I will pick a comparison now this time the price will be greater than uh, Bollinger band so again I'll pick the close and you notice here these are the most recent used blocks. So I can pick the close and here I will pick Bollinger Bands. Okay. So now if the, close, if the price closes above Bollinger Bands, then I will go short. When will I exit? So I will exit when the price goes back to the middle. So the middle, if we in Bollinger Bands, we define the middle as the 20 period simple moving average. So then I want the price. Now this is the long entry signal. That means the price going up from the bottom. So that means I need the price to close above the 20 SMA. So again, I will have a comparison, which is the close above the 20 SMA. So this is the SMA computed from a close and 20 period. So when I go long, I will exit when the price closes above 
the middle point and then short I will exit because now the price coming from above the Bollinger Bands below the 20 SMA okay so this is a simple mean reverging strategy and I can run a quick back test and it's a losing strategy we did only seven trades and we lost 30,000 now what's happening is the close when we go short for example the price taking a long time to go below the middle maybe the price keeps going up so I have no other exit so I need to add another exit so I'll exit if if this condition doesn't happen let's say in seven days then I want to exit too because then I don't want to face the uh, that the price keeps going up okay I uh, sort of keep going down in this case for long uh, exit so let's add this uh, exit so if uh, if I'm in the trade for more than seven days so now bars since order open for the current symbol and we are in long direction okay so this is or because it's either this condition or this condition if it's more than five days then exit okay so now when I'm long and the price doesn't close above the SMA in five days I'm out so maybe I'm out in two days maybe the close will go above the middle point in two days but just in case in five days I'm out and we will see now we we'll, we have we had seven trades before this condition and if we run the back test now you'll see now we increased the number of trades because we exited at one point then we need to do the same for the short so now I'm short and then bars since entry and this time the direction is short and again five now you need to do an or because if you put an and that means both conditions must happen in order to the signal to be true but we want any of these conditions to happen for the signal to be true and then if we run the back test we used to have nine trades and now we have 12 trades okay so we solved one issue now what if I only want to go long with a regime filter so a simple regime filter is the 200 day moving average okay so if the price is above the 200 day moving average then I will do the mean reverting long and if it's below I will do the mean reverting short so how can we do this so the long entry signal I can add the condition that the close is bigger than the 200 day moving average So now I will only go long when the price closes below the lower band of Bollinger Bands and at the same time this has to be true also when the price is above the 200 day moving average okay so this is the regime filter for long entries and we will see what happens now quick test 
So now we filter two trades out. And we'll do the same for the short. So when the close is smaller, lower than the 200 day SMA. And we run. And now we're back to five trades. So we did filter, but the system is not making money. So maybe I'm doing things opposite. Okay. Maybe let me do when the price is lower, I will go long. And when the price is above, I will go short. Let's test that theory. And this looks a little bit better. Still losing at the end, but it's still better. Okay. Now, what if I want to test the the 500 uh, day moving average or the 75 day moving average or the two and a half uh, standard deviation of Bollinger Bands? So this is where the algo wizard come in place. Okay, yes, we do have control now to test some theories. But now what if I want to test the variation of this theory? Now, obviously here, uh, long entry, uh, short entry, long exit. This is basically what, so here we're mentioning long entry signal. So if the long entry signal is true and the short entry signal is false, and long exit signal is false, then I will enter at market. Now you can of course change this to limit, stop and whatever, but we'll leave it at market now. So we'll go along using the global money management for the contract size and some simple exits. In fact, if I go here and let me delete this exit after five days, okay? So I will delete this condition. So long exit signal, long entry, I will exit after five bars. And if I run the test, it should behave the same. Uh, maybe it's either six days or four days. Let's do four. Because here it's calculating a bar later. That's why it's four. And here it's uh, five. So I can delete this one also. And then I will add to short entry. When I enter short, I want to exit after four bars. And if I run a quick test, everything should be the same. Okay. And of course you can have a profit target stop loss. Okay. Now, long exit as I'm exiting the current symbol, direction long, and I'm out. And short exit, current symbol, when I'm short, and then I'm out. So now I can uh, save this as a template and use it in Builder to generate more strategies. But currently, with the way it is, there is no variation because everything is fixed. So I need to randomize these. This concludes uh, part one. As I noticed, the time is uh, over 15 minutes. So I thought I should split this in two videos. In part two, I'll show you how to randomize all the variables and use the template in Builder to build strategies and variation based on your idea. So I'll see you in the next video.